Within just a couple of seconds, now you can create a podcast by AI with two voices, which is guest and host about your desired topic derived from your PDF files or URLs or websites without you manually doing anything, or better to say, the open source version of Notebook LM. Then, let's go! Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, let's get into Podcastify. Well, what we're going to do here, we're going to use this open source solution to see how we can create a podcast, which means it has a host and a guest. So two people talking about uh, a topic that it is derived from a PDF that we upload or a website that we provide or multi multiple URLs. Let's say you have a business, you have a company, you have products, you have uh, reports that can be from a variety of different topics and you want to create a podcast around all of them that two people are talking about that and you can use that podcast for different purposes for personal branding, for generating leads, for sales, whatever you want to. So as you can see, Podcastify says it is an alternative version to Notebook LM. So it's an open source alternative version. Then what is Notebook LM? So before I talk about Podcastify and how we can use it, Notebook LM that recently released by Google, which technically is your personal AI research assistant. So here you can create a new notebook and then after clicking on new, you need to upload any sources of data you want to chat with, you want to do RAG here, and you can start deep diving in if you can upload or you can get them from a link if their website youtube google docs google slides so on and so forth and then when you upload them you can start chatting with them asking questions or brainstorm with those documents that you have it's sort of giving you a rack option here but it's just a single use of uploading or connecting here then afterwards after actually having your data uploaded let me actually open the one that i already uh it before let me see i think this is the one i used there you go so i had a pdf about mg youtube channel report this is the one that i got it from a research llm research api that i created a video out of it previously and then this report is three pages generated by llm about what is my channel what i talk about so i uploaded this it's almost three or four pages of pdf and now i can start asking questions and stuff plus i can generate a podcast out of it with just a click i already did that and let me show you how it looks like it's actually pretty realistic take a look okay so let's say you're like me you want to really get machine learning and cloud computing mm. but all the technical stuff i mean who wants to wade through all that right it can be a lot it can be so that's what we're doing today it's a deep dive deep dive love it into this report i found mm. On the MG YouTube channel, it's at MG underscore cafe on YouTube if you want to look it up later. Okay, it's almost around four minutes, but as you can see, it's pretty realistic. It, it, then you can see the people are saying, uh, mm, like you stop words. So now, how we can have it open source and give it a try for running it maybe even locally by even local language models or open air models, like any, any sort of language model and even any sort of other voice models that they can generate text to voice. So Podcastify, I found actually just one of many examples that is available so you can take a look, but giving back to Podcastify, it's the maybe most simplest one you can give it a try. So how you use it, if you scroll, scroll all the way down, you just need to do pip install F fmpeg. This is actually for audio processing and it's a prerequisite. Make sure you have Python 3.1 or higher and then just pip install Podcastify, that's it. Then you can generate podcasts with providing URL or list of URLs. These are sources of data that you want to generate podcasts about them. And these URLs can be your local PDF path. And that's it. So let me show you how I run it locally on my Google, uh, sorry, VS Code. So here I am, I have already installed Podcastify, so I just need to import its client as generate podcast. And then here, this function, I'm just using this to create the display of audio in a Jupyter Notebook here, so nothing fancy. 
let me scroll the way down and here the same pdf that i uploaded in notebook lm which is a report about my youtube channel i added that as a path inside this url to generate podcasts about it now by default this uses the openai voice capability for generating audio and of course you need to add your opinion key as environment value here so let me take a look how it looks like welcome to podcast by your personal generative ai podcast hey everyone and welcome to the show today we're diving deep into the fascinating world of machine imagine a perfect dose covering ah the crucial deployment phase so many brilliant i would say it's less realistic compared to notebook lm but what podcastify has added here is also you can connect to 11 labs to use the more advanced text to voice capabilities to generate the podcast obviously you need to have the api key added to environment variable so just quickly show you what is even labs they do have right of different ml machine learning services mainly text to speech as you can see i can select the narrator there are different ai models cloned by voice actors and whether by type here as a sample can be generated so let me show an example the 11 Labs voice generator can deliver high quality human like speech in 32 languages. Perfect for audiobooks, video voiceovers, commercial. Yeah, I would say the quality is much better. So, getting back to, to the code now with connecting to Event Labs, I can report same podcast but over the same PDF, but this time with different voices. And now let's check out the result. Let's welcome to Podcast FY, your personal. Machine learning and cloud computing are such hot topics right now. So, what kind of content does the MG channel offer? Well, they cover a really impressive range. Think everything... Yeah, as, as you hear, I'm covering impressive ranges. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so that was pretty impressive. Now, again, you can plug in with different language models. And there are other GitHub repositories. I was actually checking one of them, which was using Llama the 8 million parameter and sorry, uh, I think 2 and then 80 and even 405. Uh, billion parameter versions you can have them locally installed on your machine to use them to generate these podcasts and using some hugging face open source models for text to voice i was first initially starting to use those but i found that my local machine laptop here is not capable of actually handling all the youth out of memory issue that's why i use podcastify because it's calling external language models and even text to voice models but again you can have it all local on your machine and if you're interested let me know try to find a way to have that also created in a separate tutorial all right that was quickly about this video i hope you i hope you I, you find it helpful if yes i would be very thankful if you click on like icon and make sure you write down your thoughts questions and comment section and the source of all these codes and stuff is added to the discord channel which is embedded in the video description below thank you all